I seen these chicks in the store and I figured I could I could use a couple more chicks in my life. So I brought them home. Yep, now I gotta build them a house, I guess. So starting today, this is where I'm going to have my new chicken coop. I'm making a 12 by 8 chicken coop. The hen box will go over there for the eggs and then the rest of it will be a run. It will have a roof about six foot tall and uh, I'm going to take you along the journey on how I build this. Maybe do a little time lapse or something like that. So obviously I haven't started the time lapse part but nobody wants to watch somebody dig in a time lapse so <laughs> I'm not filming that part yet. Okay but I wanted to get my footers dug first so here's the eight foot section. And this will be 12 foot that way. So I'm putting my my post in first. I'm going to measure it, make sure it's all square, and then go to town. So, but I wanted to get the holes dug first. Here's where the uh, they'll roost at night in this box. It's going to be a four by four box. The eggs will be on the outside over here. There's going to be a door right here that enters the coop. So I'm going to get all this concrete poured, and then I'm going to time lapse me actually building the box part, and then uh, possibly some of the rest of it. But I'm going to explain the whole thing as I go. It's been a very long day. I'm happy it's over. I'm exhausted. It is not easy digging two foot holes all the way around in dirt to put concrete in. But that's what I did. I have the outside perimeter done. And now it's on to the, the laying box part of the chicken coop. And that is the part, again, I will time lapse. I didn't want to time lapse all this because it'd be a whole lot of boring video for you guys to watch. So that's it for today. So basically all I did there was I, I used some one buys and I just put them in there and then cut some boards. So these would be my laying boxes here. The um, door will go up and down right there with a latch system and hinges. So I'll be able to securely latch that. The big door is done. It came out really good. I put some heavy duty hinges over there. I'll have a latch system on this side. So this is my entry to um, clean the coop out. I can scrape all the poop to the edge here. Um, possibly going to lay some uh, vinyl flooring in here, possibly. Uh, but when I get everything built, then I'm going to paint it. So I do have a small, you might wonder about that gap. That's just for ventilation. And I did only these two sides because those will be secured inside the coop. This, this outside will, will, you know, that's an outside wall and here's an outside wall. So uh, there'll be a little ventilation up there because the roof will obviously be right above this. So I'm not going to put another top on this because the whole roof is going to cover this. Alright, here we 
there's the door. It came out a little bit better than I thought it would. I've never built a door like this before. And it, it's on there pretty good. Um, I leveled it up pretty good. I just got tape until I put the latch on there because it's a little windy tonight and I want it to blow around. But, uh, you know, there's the taper of the roof. That's why it's tighter over here. And bit, but it's still tight enough. Nothing's going to get in there. So, obviously, I will wrap that in chicken wire uh, with the rest of the coop. So, that's where we are right now. Yes, it looks a lot different than the last clip you just saw. Uh, the day I went to paint this thing, it was extremely windy. I had no time but that day to paint it. And it kept knocking the camera over, so I gave up on it. I figured, you don't need to watch me paint it. Um, but I did add the uh, plywood roof up top. It's going to have corrugated metal on top of that. But uh, I don't have the metal yet. i got to pick that up. But let me give you a quick little update on where we're at. Here's my clean out door. So I got a little roost up there. Still got some painting doing here, but it's not a 911. I wanted to get the floor painted. I'm going to put some probably peel and stick vinyl that'll help the floor hold up a lot better over time. It's just temporary. I did make my door. You saw that. Put a little latch on here. And I did just put this on here. I got a little hook right there, which is going to go up there and that'll hold up there. So there's laying boxes right there. So I got to paint all that. Here's the entrance to the coop that I just, it's not screwed in yet, but I just built that. So got some painting touch-ups to do, but all in all, this is it. Now I got to do the chicken wire and that'll be the next video here. There's my one by sixes that I'm going to put across the base once I get the chicken wire stapled on. So um, that'll be the next step. It is time to wrap up the chicken coop build. Again, you can do this whole project for like under $600. I, th I wanna say estimated between five and $600 for all materials included. Um, you know, when we first got the idea of having chickens again, I went to Tractor Supply and they have those cool little decorative coops for like $400. I'm like, I could build something with that kind of money that's bigger and stronger and in the ground really good. So that's what I did. Um, again, it's an eight by 12. Um, I'm really good at answering questions. If you have any questions, feel free to, to post your comment and ask it. Um, I would, if you want to follow along with the chicken story, go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button. We're going to do videos on the, on the birds themselves. We'll do videos on, um, what I'm going to do to make their water container and, uh, to, to build a, a feeder for them. So I'm also going to do some landscaping around here to make it look a little bit nicer, kind of like I did around the pool. So if you have any questions on pool videos, I have a ton of those. So check out the ch uh, other videos in the channel. But again, I really appreciate your time watching the video. Uh, if you have a question, ask it. And uh, if you want to follow along with the journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe. I appreciate you watching.